Now let's see where we left off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we did some graphing, didn't we? Yeah, it's weird when we do this because there's only one question for the following exercises and then it's 223 and 224 relates to this. So it's really, really weird when they do that. Anyways, okay. Let's copy these three over. Okay, get some paper. Right. Uh, interval for it's increasing, decreasing, local min and local max. Okay. Two, 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 one. Let's calculate the derivative. That's going to be cos x plus 3 sine squared x cos x and we like that to equal zero so that'll be cos x times 1 plus 3 sine squared x equals zero so that means either cos x equals zero or sine squared x equals minus 1 over 3, which is not possible, which is nice. So we just need to think of places where um, cos is 0, but in the interval of minus pi to pi. So if I just do a quick sketch here, cos starts here, and then it goes down to minus 1 at pi, and then at minus pi, Likewise goes down to minus one. So it's only zero here and here. So we'll have to calculate the second derivative to know um, for sure if it's a max or a min at these points. Now let's calculate the um, second derivative now. So the second derivative um, that will be minus sine x plus 3 sine x cos x cos x minus 3 sine squared x sine x or sine cubed x. Okay, so let's calculate it at the first one which is pi over two. So that would be a zero there. Uh, minus one, minus three is minus four. So that would mean a max. And then at minus pi over two, it just gets flipped around. It's just gonna be uh, four. Um, so that makes it a min. So x uh, minus 4 is a max, x, s, x at pi over 2 is a max, x at minus pi over 2 is a min. Um, it'll be decreasing in pi over 2. Um, no, sorry, I should say increasing, actually. Increasing 
in minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, and then decrease them in minus pi to minus pi over 2, and pi over 2 to pi. Okay, that's 2, 2, 1 done. Actually, I can check the answer, which I do want to do. Two, two, one, increasing. Yep, decreasing. And technically, they should have the bounds at pi, but, anyways, um, local max at pi over two. Yeah. Okay, that checks out. Let's have a look at 222 now. Very, very similar. 222, let's calculate the derivative. Derivative is 2x minus sine. Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. No, I'm not. 2x minus sine x. How am I supposed to solve that? Oh man, why did they do this? Why did they do this? That should be a T question for sure. Can't solve this algebraically. Can you? Oh, well, there's one solution zero, but there might be other solutions too. So you want to solve when does sine x equal 2x? So one obvious solution is x equals zero. Is there another solution? Let me see. Um, is there another solution? See, I don't think so but i would need to open up some software to be sure let's continue with that being the only solution but there's no interval okay second derivative is two minus cos x so the second derivative at zero will be 2 minus 1, which is 1, which is a positive, which makes it a min. So x equals 0 is a min. But that seems wrong, doesn't it? Because there should be other solutions here. So I'm going to open up some software. Let's see. Increasing, you would need 2x minus sine x to be positive. You would need 2x to be more than sine x. Um, and, and that will happen for sure when x is greater than or equal to 0 0.5. But could it happen sooner? And likewise, decreasing when 2x minus sine x is less than 0. Or in other words, 2x is less than sine x. And again, that will happen for sure when x is less than minus 0 0.5, but could it happen sooner than that? Let's find out. So we'll have our function, which was x squared plus sine x. Let's graph it.
very little variation due to the Sinex part. Let me zoom out. Interesting, very interesting. Let me zoom in. It's bizarre. I can not see any fluctuations due to the Sinex, although it is shifted to the to the left. That's very interesting. So we want to solve this equal to zero. Hmm. Yeah, well, you can see there's uh, not two solutions because that's actually not the derivative. So let's let's uh, differentiate this. Yeah, cos. Co oh, hang on, what am I doing? Oh, the oh, okay, sorry. The, the original one was x squared plus cos x. Okay. Right, let's have a look. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, differentiate this. Okay, let's solve this expression. Okay, let's graph the derivative. So it does look like one solution at zero. Let me zoom out to confirm. Yeah. One solution at zero. But now... Um, increase and decrease and so i had it i said more than 0 0.5 but it could happen sooner and less than minus 0 0.5 but it could happen uh sooner so because this has only the solution at zero verified by the graph um we can go down to zero here but I really think this is a, a tech question. I really think it should be a tech question because the technique for checking if this has a second solution, we haven't done it yet. So, okay, I just think this is a bit unfair. I think I will open a ticket about that one. All right, so this is did we, we established it's a min at zero and it's increasing here and decreasing here all right last one now two two three concave up concave down and the inflection points okay so the first derivative is 3x squared minus 8x plus 1, which you want to equal 0. And uh, solving that quadratic, unfortunately, bah, it is thirds. So x equals 4 plus root 13 over 3, and x equals 4 minus root 13 over 3. Although, I guess actually we don't need to get those because we're just looking for concave and inflection point. So actually, yeah, skip that. Second derivative is 6x minus 8 equals 0, you want. So that means x equals 8 over 6, which is 4 over 3. Uh, that's the inflection point, provided that the first derivative is not zero. So the first derivative of 4 over 3 should not be zero. Let's confirm that. It's not zero. So that's an inflection point. Now, 6x minus 8 positive and then negative so we'll have x more than 4 over 3 and x less than 4 over 3 positive is this shape and negative is this shape so that's concave up or i call it convex and this is concave down or as i call that concave right let's check the answer Two, two, three. Concave up. Yep. 
concave down. Yep. Uh, inflection point at forward three. Yep. Okay, we'll leave it there.